What's up, fam? It's your boy Rails, aka Swaggy T. And today, today is the official day of the NBA draft. And also, we have a ton of trades going down today, and I'm pretty sure a lot of trades heading into training camp. Um, first, we're gonna start off talking about the number one draft pick, Cade Cunningham. The 2021 NBA draft, man. Welcome to the Pistons. <laughs> He was the obvious number one pick. Everybody in the world knew that Detroit was gonna pick him number one, so there was not too big of a surprise there at the number one pick. They tried to compare him to Luka Doncic. I was like, Luka? I don't think he looks like Luka at all. Maybe a Bradley Bill type of score, maybe. And that's a big compliment right there. But um, yeah, I don't see him being a Luka Doncic in any type of way. Uh, I think that's definitely overstated. Uh, the second pick was Jalen Green. That was actually a great pickup for the Rockets. Uh, the Rockets needed somebody big, like a big player to fill in the Oladipo shoot because they just traded James Harden for damn near Oladipo. Then they traded Oladipo to the Heat, so they pretty much didn't get too much out of the trade. So they need Jalen Green to step up. They got Kevin Porter at the shooting guard position as well. They could put uh, Jalen Green at a shooting guard slash small four type position, and he could probably prosper very big in that. Um, I don't believe at all in the Cavs. The Cavs are pretty trash. I'm pretty sure they're going to waste Edmund Mobley's time. But, you know, that's what happens when you go to the Cavs. And then, right after that pick, just about, we start hearing more and more about this Russell Westbrook trade to the Lakers. And the Lakers have formally agreed now uh, to the Russell Westbrook trade. Westbrook will head to L.A. Uh, with some draft considerations for Kyle Kuzma, Contavious Caldwell-Pope, Montrezl Harrell. And for the last couple of years, everybody's been wanting Russell Westbrook to go back to LA, play for Lakers, play for Lakers. Didn't happen. And we've all been waiting for KCP, Kuzma, to see if they're going to get traded or not. We know for sure them two were part of every single trade packet. But it looks like Montrez, Harold, Kuzma, and KCP are all gone. For Russell Westbrook, we were also, the Lakers, were also trying to get Buddy Hill, but it looked like. We decided to go ahead and back up out of that one and go ahead and pick up uh, Russell. And I don't think the Lakers are done. I think that we might do a sign and trade type of deal for uh, Dennis Schroeder. You know, get him up out of here and get some more pieces for role players, some more shooting perhaps out of the sign and trade that we could get out of Dennis Schroeder. Um, I don't know if we're still looking to trade THT, but we need a decent center if we don't sign Andre Drummond back. It really depends if we get Andre Drummond back. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below about the Russell Westbrook trade. Uh, I did ask you guys in a poll as well who has the best big three in the NBA now. And the Lakers are definitely in a discussion. Russell Westbrook is a MVP. He gets triple doubles and everybody's talking about shooting, shooting, shooting. We've all watched the Milwaukee Bucks win a championship ring with terrible shooting. You can't name two good players on the Bucks that did a good job at shooting this series, this championship. Drew Holiday shot the ball terrible, but it was defense. And literally, what got them the ring, I feel like, was mainly defense. And Giannis carrying them inside the paint. So, I believe there's different ways to win a championship more than just shooting the ball. And I believe Russell Westbrook added to the Lakers, adds more star power, and makes the Lakers one of the favorites to win a championship. Uh, Kuzma gave us a lot of inconsistent play. We need some consistent players. KCP was very inconsistent. Montrez Harold, it seemed like the coach just didn't like him. He was not getting, he was getting DMPs inside the playoffs. Like, I don't know. Uh, I really wanna know what y'all think in the comment section down below, mainly about the Russell Westbrook trade. Also, let me know what y'all think about the first three picks. And then I also have to tell you guys, the worst pick in the draft was by the Orlando Magic. They're going to literally waste his time. With the number fifth pick, the Orlando Magic chose Jalen Suggs. And I want to remind you guys, they also have Cole Anthony. They also have Markel Fultz. And then you get Jalen Suggs? I don't get it. Why are you guys getting, because there was a time where you guys were getting centers every year, and now you guys are getting point guards every year. Which player is going to be actual guy you guys are actually trying to invest in to be y'all starting point guard? Because at this point, I think it's a toss-up. Any one of those three guys could be the starting point guard for the Magic, which is bad. You guys are looking like the Cavs with three point guards, and now you guys have like three centers. So I think the Magic and the Cavs definitely have the biggest losses from this draft. I just think it's completely bad. Those were the biggest things in the draft that I've seen. Let me know any players I might be sleeping on. I expect Cade Cunningham or Jalen Green to be the favorites to win rookie of the year out of this draft class. Let me know what y'all think. 
who's a favorite to win rookie of the year in y'all opinion? Am I sleeping on any player that's going to come up and be the rookie of the year and I'm just sleep? Let me know.